Hi, Bill here, and welcome to the workshop. I've decided to upgrade the number of tools that my ATC tool rack can hold. I want to increase it from 15 to 17. This will mean going into the CAD, regenerating new tool paths, setting up the tool rack in a position where I can machine it, running the program, 3D printing these beautiful ABS tool holders on my new Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon, uh, and then a final assembly. Okay, if you're interested, keep watching. And so I'm planning to expand the number of tool holders in my tool rack from 15 to 17. Machine new mounting holes for one at that end, and also new mounting holes for one at that end. And so here we are in Fusion 360, looking at the tool paths I've generated to machine out the holes. There's 2D adaptive, 2D contour, and drilling tool paths. And this is the Maso probing screen. As we go to the datum hole that I put in the tool rack when I first machined it, probing that datum hole to give us our starting point. And starting first to the adaptive. Running a little bit more control speed than I normally do. We put a hole in either end to give us our 17 holes. Looking for a 1mm chamfer, we'll see how that turns out. This going turns on. It's a pretty hefty 1mm. So we got more like a 2mm there. program again, depth was set wrong. See how we go. We'll miss fill it might help. Not really a fan. Deep running with full retract. I think I prefer the picking. Hopefully it won't have any problems. And the last hole. Yeah, I think I'll go back to pick drilling. all finished and once again spindle returns to home and the finished project two new tool holders increasing the rack to 17 one at each end I put 16 
up this end and 17 is left spare for one off use whenever I need it. Hi, me again. Well, that's a wrap. You know, CNC machining is a lot like motor racing. A lot of people only watch it because they want to see horrific crashes. <laughs> no crashes today. Just a successfully completed project. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.